Automaker Fisco, who are on the verge of bankruptcy, have, well, have discounted their cars by 50%. I mean, 50% discount. This is not a joke. No clickbait. The Fisco Ocean, I'm talking the premium spec model here. The price was $50,000. It's now $25,000. Now, would you take a risk and buy one of these cars? Well, the reason they're so cheap, say Fisker, is not because they're about to go bankrupt, but it's just because this is inventory stock. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Uh, guys, yeah, uh, let's just have a quick look at the specs, what you're going to get for your money here, what the prices are, and then I'm going to tell you my opinion on whether or not you should buy one because, hey, these cars are absolutely insanely cheap. For a brand new SUV, electric SUV for $25,000, this has never happened before, really, outside of China. The 2023, pretty much the same as the 2024 version, Fisker Ocean EV has been discounted by 50%. The American EV startup has reduced the price of the Ocean's most expensive model, which is called the Extreme. The price has been reduced by 24,000, or really about close to 25,000 US dollars. Yeah. Um, the entry level version now is only twenty five thousand US dollars. Means the Ocean is the cheapest EV you can buy in America. It undercuts the Nissan Leaf, uh, which costs twenty eight thousand US dollars. Yeah, it's the cheapest EV. Period. So it's an incredibly good deal. Some people say, I don't know. Anyway, the Fisker Ocean Sport. This is the model. This is the most affordable version. It had its price drop by fourteen thousand US dollars. The Ultra is now $35,000, that was $53,000. The most expensive model has a $24,000 price drop. So that one was, well, $61,500. Now I've got to admit, it does look good, this model, the Ocean Extreme. So the Ocean Extreme, $61,500, price drop by $24,000 US dollars, it's now $37,000. If you paid full price, would you be pretty pissed off, right? Would you be going, Holy smokes. I mean, I know there was a lot of Fisker buyers out there that were being very vocal about how great the Fisker was and don't buy a Tesla, the Fisker Ocean's way better. But then uh, MKBD, I mean, you know, Marquez Brownlee, he revealed the video saying it's the worst EV he'd ever driven, the worst vehicle he'd ever driven. Some journalists were a bit critical of the car. Um, they said it was claustrophobic or the, there was some issues with it, um, software issues. And then they started, well, the phantom braking issues. There's, there's a range of issues, unfortunately, that the Fisker Ocean has had. Have those problems been fixed? I don't know. If you get problems in future, and after this company has gone bankrupt, um, will you be able to get your car fixed by Magnesteer in Austria, who actually manufacture the car? They're the contract manufacturers for Fisker. Would they fix it for you? Maybe, I don't know. There is a new software though that's been installed in the cars. It's called version 2.0 and apparently it's ready to go. It's all the problems have been sorted out. In addition, some cars do have additional options such as exterior colors and 22 inch wheels that add up to 7,000 US dollars over the starting price, but you're just gonna get the car. With those options, you don't have to pay for them. You get those options for free. Now, I don't think you really want 22 inch wheels. It's gonna give you less range, significantly less range than if you had say 20 inch wheels. Um, obviously your tires are gonna be super expensive as well, but you know, if you like bling, if you're a bling bling kind of guy or girl, 22 inch wheels might be your thing, maybe. Anyway, these are inventory vehicles. So the, that's the reason guys that these are so cheap. They're inventory stock because a Magnesteer in Austria who make these cars, they have paused production of the Fisker Ocean. Fisker weren't getting enough orders. There's heaps of cars in inventory. In fact, they have 4,700 cars in inventory. They've only ever made 9,000 cars. So more than 50% of the vehicles they made um, didn't sell. And they're, yeah, they're sitting gathering dust and Fisker are like, well, you know what? We're gonna be losing a lot of money here, but it's better than nothing, right? Anyway. The California startup right now has 4,700 cars in inventory. 1,300 of them were built in 2024. So that means that 3,400 2023 models are sitting in inventory right now. There's quite a lot of cars 
maybe they're going to maybe fiscal will discount them even more than this because you know uh, receivers will probably jump in within the next few weeks uh, to try and recover whatever money can be recovered i mean fiscal stock is collapsed completely i feel sorry for everyone that bought the stock but i did warn you many times i said don't do it it's a risk you shouldn't be taking people even emailed me and if i could if i had the time i contacted them and i said guys no, I don't want you to lose your money. Please don't make this investment. They're not going to be the next Tesla. The CEO is brilliant at telling you all the right things, putting on a, a fantastic sales presentation. But when everything is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Now, is this EV too good to be true at these prices? Well, it's great, but I wouldn't buy one. Honestly, I wouldn't buy one if it was even cheaper than this. And the reason is because it's an orphan car. Fisker are almost certainly going to go bankrupt um, within the next matter of probably within a month. Right now, manufacturing has been paused completely. Uh, receivers are about to step in. So I just don't think it's worth taking the risk on a car that it could have numerous problems in the future. And, and it's going to be almost impossible to get those problems fixed unless you take it to a third party and they can fix it for you. But who knows? It's There's so much software involved here. So much... So, EVs now, they're so digital. Uh, that's where the tricky part comes in. Can you fix these issues? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Let me know what you think, though. Do you think it's worth taking the risk? Thanks for watching.